the final bell of the day isn't necessarily a signal to relax. For a majority of Columbus Academy students, it's on to the next challenge. From the time they enroll, students are encouraged to take part in organized sports. One person who oversees this development is physical education teacher and head football coach Robin Miller. How important of a role do sports play in young athletes' lives? It's huge. I feel it's such an important thing for them to part participate in when they're younger, building those relationships with their teammates, uh, with their classmates, building a love for, for physical fitness and activity and laying the groundwork for a, just a healthy lifestyle. How old do you think kids should start finding a passion, getting involved in sports? Depends on how organized it is. I mean, kids can, as young as one and a half or two, can have fun rolling a ball around, chasing something, doing tumbling. Um, get them interested in going on walks, enjoying nature, uh, and then as they get older and older and can start participating, whether it's gymnastics, youth soccer, basketball, they have that the interest and that passion for, for movement, for activity, uh, and that builds into competition then as well. The lessons on the field begin almost immediately, and it's not just about learning the rules of the game. First is probably overcoming adversity. You're gonna face that in sports, you're definitely gonna face that in life. A tough challenge, a tough opponent, uh, a setback personally, at work, in school, whatever it might be, learning how to kind of buckle down and overcome those challenges. And then secondly, working together with teammates to overcome those challenges, to, to bond together and achieve something together you never thought possible. It's the responsibility, he says, of both the coaches and the parents to encourage students to be their best, even if they don't win the game. Praise the good things that they did that day, even if the results might not be there, whether it's on the scoreboard, whether it's uh, they're still only second or third string, maybe they haven't earned that starting role yet, maybe they dropped the game-winning pass. If you can praise their effort and point out the good things that they did, maybe they were a great teammate and they filled up their water bottle for their teammates coming off the field. If coaches and parents can point those things out, that positive reinforcement for the kids, it makes it a much more enjoyable and successful experience for the kids. Columbus Academy also follows the guidelines of what's known as the Positive Coaching Alliance. They talk about a five to one ratio of positive to negative things, and if you have that great relationship, a foundation of respect with the players, they're more likely to be open and receptive to necessary constructive criticism when that does come up. And there's also process driven uh, rather than results driven component to it where the kids can appreciate what they went through to achieve something even if the results don't turn out the way they wanted. So how do you know what your child may be good at and what they may enjoy? I definitely think they should try out as much as possible. If kids, especially at a young age, can try out different things, see what sticks, see what they like, uh, hopefully they develop two, three, four different passions that they can pursue. What would you say to parents who, who maybe their, their child doesn't seem to feel like he's any good at sports? He doesn't maybe want to be involved because he says, well, I was out there and you know, I don't feel like I belong. Uh, do you have any advice, I guess, for how they can get their child to see the importance and see the fun in sports? That is definitely a challenge and that it's heartbreaking when you see that because there's a role for every kid out there in different sports. Um, not every kid can be the starter or the superstar, but there's definitely a role for everyone and it's, it's important that they're given those opportunities to keep trying different things. And if you're interested in learning more about Columbus Academy, they do have an admissions open house coming up. It's Sunday, November 20th from 2 to 4. You can tour the campus, meet current students, parents, have in-depth discussions even with teachers and coaches. It's a chance to get all your questions answered. All you have to do is RSVP to 614-509-2220.